Hamilton. Good morning, Commissioner. Thanks for being with us today. Oh, good morning. Thanks for having me. I understand you have not slept all night. It's been very busy. You're in this new role. We appreciate you joining us. How are things looking on your end today? Uh, we're doing very well out there. There's still a lot of left, uh, work left to be done. Mm -hmm. It's still actively snowing. I mean, Byron nailed it. Uh, there is still snow coming down. We saw some really heavy, heavy bands last night. The winds were definitely a factor for us. Um, you know, and, and we, we kept it slow and methodical. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot, a lot of work left to do. And unfortunately, too, with these dropping temps after the front, we're not going to get a lot of help from Mother Nature today. So mm -hmm. we need everybody to continue to do their best to stay off the road, give the men and women of the Department of Sanitation enough time to do their job. And uh, we're going to keep going all day at it. Yeah, Mr. Grayson. So let's talk about the most difficult areas for you right now. I would I would. Un my guess would be it would be the residential areas in the boroughs. So that, along with all of the outdoor dining structures, how are you navigating the streets? The, uh, you're correct. You know, once we get into the more residential areas, those are a little bit more intricate just because a little bit of tighter streets, a lot of turns. Uh, the men and women are, are going slow and steady to get there. And with the outdoor dining structures, I got to tell you, Frontline reviews, um, the, the the restaurants that made some rigid structures, the structures have been holding up, and the restaurant owners who had like a tarpaulin-based roof structure, uh, they most of them took them down. Uh, we incorporated uh, navigating those streets into our preseason training program this year, and the men and women have been out there. I mean, they're in the streets every day. Yeah. They, are, mm -hmm. they pass them, these structures every day, so we kind of know where we are, and yeah. they, take, they take it into account. So as far as the residential areas, though, are there some areas that you just simply have not been able to get to? And if that's the case, how long will it be? No, we've gotten a plow just about everywhere. Uh, we've got to come back with salt. That's the big thing because we have to go back and salt up. So we're doing very well on our schedules uh, for your, re you know, for your viewers. You may look out there and you say, hey, where's the plow? We were there. We're coming back. It's just stay inside. Don't move the car today. We're coming with a plow. Uh, and, and lastly, look, how many men and women do you have out there? How many plows are on the streets right now working hard? Right now we have 2,000 plowed vehicles, uh, 700 of those are salt spreaders, and we're gonna have you know over 2,000 people out, you know, on duty today, all day, we're, we're coming off of, we just changed over to fresh dayline personnel, so we'll be out there all day with a little over 2,000 folks and 2,000 plows. Mr. Grayson, new on the job, first big snowstorm, but you know, you've been in the department for quite some time. Thank you, and thank all the men and women of the sanitation department for keeping us safe and keeping the roads clear. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thanks for your work. We do appreciate it.